Hey everybody, welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. My name is Danica McKellar. I am an, an actress, math book author, Periscope lover, homeschooling mom, um, health nut, and many other things. And we do McKellar Motivational Mondays every Monday. Sort of just a way of checking in and talking about things that inspire us and help us to be better, happier people. So, in a few moments, I will be inviting our Facebook friends to join us, but for the moment, it is just us, the D-Squad, and, um, oh, thank you, Richard, for inviting followers. Ooh, I wonder if I'll be able to see shares now. It looks like it. For the next 30 seconds or so, I will, um, thank you, I will be doing shout-outs to those uh, who are uh, sharing. Thank you, Chad, Richard again, SMC, Abraham, good to see you again. Thanks, guys. Sophia, Selena, Old Mantras, Joel. Thank you, Selena, again for inviting followers as well. The Ray of Light, Joel Barron, Coco, Shermanator, Jonathan, Chris2215. Don't give up math. That's right. Oh, you love my cock costume? Thank you so much. Um, not a party tonight, but I will be trick or treating. Thank you, Michael Mathias, DD Gringo Star, Shannon X. Um, thank you for sharing and inviting followers. Thank you, Chad. Hey, guys. Thank, it's, thank you, it's Mariah and DeRay of Light. All right, so we're going to talk about scary stuff. So let's go ahead and invite our Facebook friends to join us. Where did they go? Come back. One second. There it is. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. I'm here with Periscope and Facebook Live. And uh, we're going to talk about scary stuff because it's Halloween. So, um,. Is my mom handing out zucchini bread? I'm not sure, so sure. But isn't it cute? I did, I did the hash, so for Periscope, I did hashtag Halloween. We have little bats coming up too, so that's awfully cute. And yes, some of you noticed I am wearing Halloween earrings. These are little skeletons. So skeletons, that's something that people might be afraid of. When we're little kids, we're afraid of ghosts and monsters and, and uh, scary rides and things like that. But what are we afraid of as adults, mostly? Um, fear of failure. Um, that's a big one. Failure in all different kinds of ways. Fear of uh, commitment sometimes for some people in relationships. Fear of getting older. There's all sorts of fears that, uh, that, that pop up. Scary clowns. Well, yeah, these days <laughs> apparently scary clowns are actually a real thing. Not having money. Yes. Trump. <laughs> There's all sorts of claustrophobia. Talking to celebs. Well, Gus, you're breaking that fear right now, aren't you? Facing and facing your fears, of course, part of the discussion today because facing our fears is an amazing way to use something that seems negative and turn it into and use it as a positive tool to get stronger. There is a really great quote we've probably all heard or most of us have heard it, which is, do one thing every day that scares you. I remember when I was in Dancing with the Stars uh, telling my... My husband and my, or my boyfriend at the time, my mom, everybody, you know what? I'm totally taken care of like the whole year. Sorry about that, someone's talking. Someone's afraid of something in their car. Um, I was like, I'm taking care of the, because Dancing with the Stars was the most terrifying thing I've ever done that I can remember. It was absolutely terrifying. I was so afraid of um, not knowing my steps and forgetting my steps. Actually, the one uh, week seven, I did forget a step. And you might not, people said they couldn't tell, but I knew. And it was the most terrifying feeling I can remember in a long time. So, yeah, week seven, my salsa. I just, well, what happened was Val had to turn me because his hand got caught in one of my gloves. I had these, like, mesh gloves on. And so he had to turn me with the other hand because his hand was stuck to my glove. And it felt different. And then suddenly I was like, what was the next step? Oh, it was horrible. Yes, Dancing with the Stars is doing a Halloween night tonight. It's awesome. I'm, uh, I'm going to record it because I won't be able to watch it live. I'll be trick-or-treating. But yeah, so facing our fears, doing something every day that scares you, what does that do for us? It shows us that it wasn't so bad after all. It shows us that we can handle it. And that shows us that we are stronger than we thought. Something that I, that I promote in my math books. If you're afraid of a math problem, a lot of people are afraid of math. Go for it, you know, just throw yourself in there. Get help if you need it, but don't shy away from it. Don't say, this is bigger than me. This is more than I can handle. Um, you're not doing yourself any favors. We are all stronger and smarter than we give ourselves credit for. That I'm completely 100% sure of. You know, we live in a world with lots of distractions. It's easy for us to not face the things we're afraid of and just go on social media or uh, turn on the TV, watch reality shows, feel better about ourselves because our lives aren't as bad as what we see on the television. Of course, that's all fake. Most of us know that. So, 
you know, it's easy for us not to face our fears, but when we do that, we're doing ourselves a disservice. So the things that you're afraid of trying, the things that you, you, you're you afraid that you might not be big enough for, or you might not, you know, fit the bill, you might not rise to the challenge, throw yourself into those situations. You're gonna surprise yourself. I'm telling you, you're gonna surprise yourself. Um, math anxiety, well, okay, so math, I actually wrote books for that. The first book is called Math Doesn't Suck and I highly recommend it for math anxiety because math is one of those great things that yes, can be very scary, but when you face it, when you throw yourself into it, and when you get a problem right that you didn't think you could do, I used to call it a math high because you suddenly just feel this elation and, and relief and, and pride. Um, it's a wonderful, beautiful thing. You have that book? Oh, math doesn't suck, thank you. <laughs> so. What else? Uh, yes, everyone be, be safe tonight, by the way, because there are two different kinds of fear. There's fear of actual danger, and that kind of fear you might not want to face. You might want to go ahead and listen to that inner voice and say, well, I'm not gonna walk down this dark alleyway. This is not safe, this is not smart. Uh, we're talking about facing our fears psychologically. There's, um, there's another quote that I don't know by heart, and um, but basically what it says is that our greatest fear is not actually of failure. Our greatest fear is that we are amazing, that, that, we're, that we are big, that we are important, that our, we are more afraid of our lightness than of our darkness. Anybody know that quote? If you guys have heard that before, it's a beautiful quote and it's actually about a paragraph long. But that's a very, interesting idea that we are more afraid of lightness than we are of darkness and what could that possibly mean yes powerful beyond measure thank you Ray. our greatest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure and to me that's got to be about fear of responsibility then because what if what if you are that powerful what if you were that powerful to change your life and the lives of people around you that would be a responsibility wouldn't it with it, Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. And I would say, don't be afraid of responsibility. Responsibility, as Deepak calls it, is just the ability to have a creative response to any given situation. So if you have a lot of power, it doesn't mean that you're 24-7 have to be using it, but it means that you might have a certain kind of awareness. You want a new book called Quotes by, well, these are not my quotes, Jeffrey, but thank you. Yeah, so, so, so examine that. If you don't, if you are afraid of trying something because you think you're afraid of failing, maybe take a look at that and say, is it really because I'm afraid of failing? Or is it because I'm afraid I'm gonna have some success and then I'll have to live up to that success somehow? Either there's that fear of doing really well and then what if you don't do as well afterwards and now everyone's watching you and all the rest of it? First of all, don't worry about what other people think. I'm now over 40 years old and I, have the life experience to tell you people aren't thinking about you most of the time they're really not even me who's in the public eye you don't you guys don't spend most of your time thinking about me mostly we're thinking about ourselves and our own responsibilities and our own lives and our own whatever so don't worry that someone else might be watching you and they're gonna watch you succeed and they're gonna expect you to keep succeeding and then they're gonna watch you fail that's really not what's going on here that's not the main story the main story is that you have the courage to tackle those challenges and to succeed. Have the courage to succeed. That's a big one. And remember this, life is not a plateau. It's not like you work and work and now you get to this point in your life and you have the success that you, that you have and now you have to live up to that or only go up and it's, no, life has different eras in it. I had one time in my life when I was a child actress. Then I had another time, another whole era in my life when I was getting a, deg a degree in mathematics at UCLA. They had nothing to do with each other. My success in one had zero to do with my success in the other. And we all have different phases of our lives. Then, for some of us, we become parents. And now there's a whole new set of priorities. Your whole life feels different. So remember that when you have a challenge that you're afraid of tackling, you're afraid of even trying, go for it. This is not setting you up for now what you're gonna have to do the rest of your life. This is a new adventure. Life is a series of experiences, it's a series of adventures. So make your adventures good ones and know that you didn't shy away from a challenge. If you're gonna fail, fail big. 
that's, so many people say that. And you know, if you, if you really look about quotes, if you look up quotes about fear, that's the kind of stuff that you'll read. And as people get older, they say it more and more. Just go for it. Live now. Don't be afraid. Don't sweat the small stuff. Yes, and one, uh, another one of my favorite quotes about sweating small stuff is, there are two rules in life, two, two rules in the secret of life, something like that. One, don't sweat the small stuff. Two, it's all small stuff. And that is a perspective that you get more and more as you get older. But I want to talk to the people who are watching right now in their 20s and younger or 30s, whatever. Embrace that now. Have more fun with your life now because you're not living in fear. Just go for it. No one's watching really. And if they are, they're watching for a moment and then they're looking the other way. And they're mostly worried about what people are thinking of them. That's the truth. So don't be afraid. Go for it. I believe in you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching the Danny Cam. We'll, we'll do some questions here, but that's, that's my main message here. Don't live in fear. Have fun. Go for it. Don't worry what other people are thinking because they're not thinking about you most of the time. And you got this. Embrace the idea of your success in some unexpected area. Embrace it and have fun with it. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. So anybody else have any questions? I haven't been as interactive this time because I had so much to say about fear. And by the way, of course there are going to be little failures along the way. That's part of life. Draco is in a class right now. Look at a photo of our planet Earth from space and then our problems look small. It's true. Or if you think about how long human race has been around and how, how tiny our lives are just a little blink. And uh, in all of time, you might as well enjoy it. Might as well send out love. Hey, Carrie. Um, what is Draco? Draco is going to be Blinky, one of the ghosts from Pac-Man. And now I was a cop for the Halloween parties I went to with my husband this weekend. But tonight I'm going to be Pinky, one of the other ghosts from Pac-Man. Thank you, Carrie, for sharing. My eyebrows, thanks. I filled them in a little bit, a little bit of eyeshadow. I have my makeup on now because this is the only time I had to put makeup on for trick or treating. I'm not sure why I put on makeup for trick or treating, but I did. I guess because they're, they're going to be pictures. <laughs> oh, thanks. It's me, WB. Give us a scary story. Um, thanks, Gary. I just read, I just watched one of your scopes. What was it? Um, it was about one of the updates, I think. Anyway, Carrie Shearer, great. He's the live stream expert. Not just the Periscope expert, live stream. <laughs> sure. Yeah, so by, by the way, on Periscope, apparently there's a VIP program now. I, I applied for it, but I didn't like call any of my friends who could probably fast track me. I should probably do that, I guess. I'm not sure how important it is. You watch Crown for Christmas? So yeah, so I have, um, I have uh, a Christmas movie coming out November 19th on Hallmark Channel. It's called My Christmas Dream. It's very sweet, very fun, very romantic. I look just like the girl from the Wonder Years, J-M-K-H-1. That's because I am. That's me. 28 years later. <laughs> uh, yes, big cuddly teddy bear. As I just said, I do, I do still act. I'm, I'm in a movie called My Christmas Dream on Hallmark Channel, November 19th. And Crown for Christmas is going to be re-airing quite a bit. Crown for Christmas was my Hallmark Christmas movie last year. They did very well. Will I be on Hallmark? You mean Home and Family Sunshine? Um, yes, I will be. I think the 17th or 18th of November I'm going on Home and Family. <laughs> Thanks, Photo Matt. Yeah. Yes, Jeremy, I know, right? Yes, Jacob, these are skeleton earrings for Halloween. Thanks, Robert. Thanks, guys. Yes, Lacey's movie, Lacey Chabert, my good friend Lacey Chabert, and Paul Green, um, one of my first co-stars in on my Hallmark movies. They had a Christmas movie air. It was called A Wish for Christmas. Not to be confused with my movie, My Christmas Dream. We're all wishing and dreaming. Have I ever been in a horror movie? Have I been in a horror movie? Kind of. I was in a movie called Hack. It's an independent film. Oh, that's kind of a horror movie, sort of. 
Goodnight Numbers is 40 pages. It might be, but that includes like the front and the back. Yeah, so Goodnight Numbers, you guys, that's my that's my um, children's math book. It's a toddler book. So it's the very, very earliest readers. Um, toddlers, anybody who you'd snuggle up and read a little bedtime book with um, as a parent. It's called Goodnight Numbers. It's available for pre-order on Amazon and Barnes and Noble and all sorts of places. But if you pre-ordered and take a screen grab of your receipt, go to danicamckeller.com to find out how you might be one of 20 winners in October, and you've got one more day, this is it, um, uh, to get a, an autograph sticker. So I might be doing it for some other months too, I haven't decided yet, but there'll definitely be 20 winners within October, for sure. So you send me the, send me the information. I, I, people are always asking me how to get autographs. I thought, well, I'll do autographs that they can. So it's an autograph sticker that goes inside your, your copy of Goodnight Numbers. Your friend ordered my geometry book. Oh, cool. My, yeah, my the book that I wrote for the oldest uh, um, ages right now, it's the high school geometry book, and it's called Girls Get Curves, Geometry Takes Shape. Skeletons. My home is a little bit decorated for Halloween. Not, we don't go all out. We go all out for Christmas. But for Halloween, we put up a few things. Thanks, Gigi. Can you say crusty or Christy? Because Christy Williams just asked me to say crusty, and I wonder if that was a typo. But hi, Christy, and hi, Krusty. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tim. Welcome to the 40s. It's the best decade ever, as far as I can tell. The best decade so far. That's for sure. For calculus, um, well, there's a book called Calculus, Calculus for the, the, oh, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Calculus, which I wrote a foreword for, so I read the entire thing, and it's pretty good. That was like 15 years ago. Someday I might write a calculus book, but not yet. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Happy Halloween. Have a safe Halloween. And uh, just be safe, you guys, and keep your pets inside tonight because people, there's some bad people out there. And remember, your fears are opportunities. Those are opportunities for you to get stronger and to feel the, the vibrations of the cars driving behind you and to feel the vibrations of life, just to feel alive, you guys. They're opportunities. And I look forward to seeing you guys very soon again on the Danicam. You are the D Squad. We'll be um, scoping again at some point, probably during the week. If not, then I'll see you next Monday for sure. Thanks so much. And thank you so much for your follows and your shares. Always so appreciated. Bye.